Hi, my name is Bob Smith, and I'm a technical training engineer here at Microchip. I've created a graphically oriented spreadsheet that will help you configure the oscillator on the PIC32. The oscillator system on the PIC32 devices gives you lots of flexibility, but some configuration settings can be incompatible with others. This spreadsheet will not only provide you with the configuration settings for the oscillator system, but it will also highlight any incompatible settings for you. Some of these settings are determined at build time, and some are determined at run time. All build time settings use the device configuration names defined in the datasheet. These settings will be grouped in this area, so you can easily cut and paste them into your code. All runtime settings use the intuitive function parameter names and values defined by the MPLAB Harmony Integrated Software Framework. The only cells you should be changing in this spreadsheet have been highlighted in yellow, and all possible settings are provided in each drop-down list. Now if you want to change a protected cell for some reason, I've provided the password here for you. You'll note as you change the settings, the corresponding output frequencies are affected. All input clock sources are shown in the green blocks on the left. You'll note some of the cells have little red triangles, indicating there is a comment associated with it. You'll also note there are different spreadsheets for the PIC32MX and PIC32MZ families, and I've also included the oscillator system block diagrams found in the datasheets. The primary oscillator mode setting configures the oscillator to accept an external clock or high-speed crystal input. Note the value I entered for the external clock here is shown on the input here because of the primary oscillator mode setting here. If I change this primary oscillator mode setting to expect a high-speed crystal, you will see the cell turn red, indicating the setting is not valid. According to the datasheet, and this little message box here, the input frequency must be either 12 or 24 megahertz if I'm using the USB peripheral. If I change the input frequency to 12, one of the red boxes disappears. You can see I still have another problem to deal with. This message box says I can't use this pin as an output clock if it is also needed for a crystal input. I can disable the clock out with this setting here. Thanks for taking the time to watch this demo. I hope this spreadsheet helps keep you out of trouble. Good luck!